Good morning, guys, and welcome to Unique Not Different with me, Shamla. Today, I have Stephen DeCran, who is the director and PRO of the Trinidad and Tobago chapter of Disabled People International. And I also have with him his interpreter and also the inter my interpreter in general. She always is here, you know, um, volunteering her time, Ryan Houghton. So, hi, team. Good morning. Hi, Stephen. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, wonderful. Fantastic. So Stephen, as the director of the Trinidad and Tobago chapter of Disabled People International, what are your goals for 2024? All right. So yes, I am the PRO of DPI. And we want something better for this year, 2024. You know, right now we're planning some events. There are four things um, at hand. The first being in June the 19th, there will be a sports day and a fun day. Um, yeah, that was the second one. And then August, there'll be a tea party on the 14th. Third, you know, September, there's a wheelchair race. <laughs> and fourth, in December the 14th, we have a Christmas dinner, you know, so we are planning these events to raise funds. And also, for example, you know, maybe in April for Easter or maybe in May, you know, anywhere that's available, we're going to plan a cake sale, you know, because we do need some, some fundraising support for the event planning. And also, you know, we plan to focus on wheelchairs, those who use wheelchairs, the blind, for example, when you're going to the beach. You know, you know the the sand tends to you know we try tends to be a much of a hindrance. So we're going to have special wheels, like a special wheelchair for those who would like to use the beach. When it comes to the blind as well, we're going to have some things put in place on the beach as well. You know, it's but it's not going to be your own equipment. It's something that the public can use when you're there. You use it when you're leaving. You move just like when you're renting something. It's something like that. And in Tobago, we are also planning the same thing, so you're not left out. Also, we'd like to plan Braille for the blind, you know, Braille, right. So we need to have much more of these things available. So because there have been some concerns about the Eldamo bus, you know, there were 24 given, then one wasn't working, then another and another and another, and it dwindled to a few buses available, you know, because there's no one there to maintain it. So we need to focus on the disabled, because, you know, we have, you know, the, those able, you know, they, they have their thing going on, but there's some concerns for the deaf as well. When we are on a bus, you know, you need a light to know that, okay, at least this bell is working, you know, just some sort of visual indication for a deaf person traveling on their own. We don't have a voice. Some may be ashamed to use their voice because we are deaf, we don't really speak, but, you know, there's a lot more things that need to be improved and the disability, the focus needs to be placed on those disabled because we are all equal and it's all all right. So you mentioned certain events to raise funds, right? Particularly to raise funds. Um, for example, we cherries and the tea party, Christmas party, a cake sale and so on. Now, who are your targets in terms of raising these funds? And when you have these events, how do you reach out to say, okay, to out Canada and Tobago to get persons involved who are in the, I guess, disabled community? Okay, so for example, at the moment, our focus is sports day in June. So in planning that, we have all the logistics and certain schedule in place. We're gonna advertise on Facebook. We're gonna do some TV and radio interviews, get the word out there on, on our target goal. You know, We'll be asking for sponsorship as well and support. So those are some ways to get it out there. Nice. So check our website, you know, DPI's website. You can also get connected there. So we know DPI is an international body organization. So how do you all oh, align, you know, in terms of achieving the big strategic goal, right, of DPI and then the short-term goals in terms of year by year, how it is aligned internationally to achieve our objective, but their objective as well the entire body.
Okay. So yes, there, there are many, there's DPI, all of the world is an international body. Each has their focus for their own territory. And just like we in Trinidad, we have our focus on what things need to improve here. Maybe if there's a concern that is really big, we do step outside to our international partners. Yes, and we, we should provide that support. They, they give us the advice, you know, and they let us know what's a big standing policy in the case that there's an event that we don't know what's happening. And that way we're strong. Nice. So um, given your work, right, especially somebody who is, I guess, in the deaf and hard of hearing community and being in this role, what do you see as, uh, I guess, a pertinent thing to deal with, a pertinent, I guess, strategy that we need to deal with in order to, I guess, to elevate or progress, you know, um, inclusion or equity for persons with disability in our country. Mm, that is a good question. So a few days ago, or a few, uh, some while ago, a while ago, yes. While you know, dealing with politics, et cetera, there was a lot I realized I didn't understand the woes of those that use wheelchairs. So I, com I combined that with my knowledge of the woes of the deaf, and I put that together, and I was able to notice how we could find certain solutions and certain problems. We don't have the same issues. Eh? You know, the issues aren't identical, just like the blind community. Their issues are not identical to ours, but in coming together, Yes, it, let me see, like a melting pot for want of a better word. And coming together, you know, I realized we're able to help each other out and force some improvements. Remember the blind, braille, adds access to reading material, wheelchairs, access, and a whole is, you know, safe roads, safe ramps. The deaf, we need more interpreters. We need people to learn sign language communication. It's needed, you know, we're in a hospital. When we're in an emergency situation, how are we going to convey what's going on? But then there's crime. How do you make it safer a disabled person? And you know, yeah, when you have hearing people and regularly able people going about making their plans and what we're doing for crime, but the disabled, you know, you have to come in a wheelchair. How are they going to run from a situation? You know, how a deaf person is going to be aware? You know, these are things that really need still to be worked on. You know, but honestly, the word disabled, look at me, come on, I'm not disabled. A wheelchair person is smart too, come on. So I think the ministry gave us that word. All right, I'll stick to it and I'll stick by it. That's an, that's an amazing topic, idea, actually. Um, you, you know, crime and how we, I uh, guess, uh, through crime strategies, how we incorporate that, you know, to help persons with disabilities, because it is there in public place, example, you know, a public, uh, uh, recently, you know, a fast food outlet, it happened. So yes, that is definitely a topic. But Stephen, um, how do you reach out to um, DPI to get involved? How do persons reach out? Okay, you can either contact my number, contact me with my number if you don't mind. You could message me only via WhatsApp and I could liaise with the president or anybody you would like to talk to. You can use my number if you want me to give it. Sure. Yes. That's a good 704-5026. Okay, and guys, don't be like me. The first time I interacted, um, Ryan gave me Stephen's number. I was told he was deaf, yet I still decided to ring Stephen. And then I realized he messaged and said, message. Then be like, oh, okay. So I remember that clearly. <laughs> so clearly. Guys, um, yeah, <laughs> it was like, it was a laughable moment actually. So um, guys, um, Stephen, Ryan, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing, you know, what your goals are. And you definitely brought up a topic that I want to expand on, which is, crime and disability. So with that being said, I want to say thank you so much to everyone for always tuning in to Unique Not Different. 
and the no morning show in general. And with that being said, be good, do good. Until next week. Bye, everyone.